Hi, it's been a while since I posted a video to explain my uh, digital project progress for QGIS. So in this video, I will uh, explain to you the state of the project right now. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been working on uh, mostly on resources handlers. So uh, <clears throat> right now, in the collection, you can put uh, images. For example, if you want to use uh, raster fill uh, in your symbol, you can use it from this directory. If uh, it's not available in QGIS data package, the default one. And also, uh, you can put processing scripts in here under this directory. It will be installed in the processing uh, toolbox. And also, the SVG itself uh, in here. You can put uh, all your SVGs here that uh, you use in your symbols, for example. And the symbols are uh, definition in here. You can put multiple symbols, of course, uh, in here, not just one symbol. So uh, let's see the plugin itself. Uh, so in this tab, uh, it will list all the installed collections. And in this tab, uh, it will list all the collections from the repository you registered in the settings. So you see in this uh, settings, there are two repositories already. This repository actually uh, approved repositories. So actually you can make a repository in GitHub or Bitbucket for example, and you, if you want to make it public for other users, you can uh, do, uh, you can make a pull request to a repository in here. So uh, this is actually still a dummy repository, but uh, we will perhaps add uh, an official repository under GIGIS organization in GitHub. And uh, if you want to make your uh, collection or your repository public for other users, you can make a pull request to this file. So it's actually just a CSV file, so you can add it right away in here the name of the repository and also the, uh, the URL of uh, the, the repository. So uh, that's why we have uh, two repositories, two repositories uh, here already. Um, maybe let's add one um, repository. So I made a repository for testing the plugin itself. So this repository is uh, actually also a git sub module in the plugin for testing so let's uh go on, uh, let's add this repository so actually you can use https or uh, git uh, protocol but uh, we will just use the git protocol in here and let's uh, name it uh, Akbar's test uh, repository and the DR of the repository in here. So it's added successfully. And in this collection, uh, there is uh, one more collection from my repository that we just added. So we can see the detail of the repository in here the name of the collection, the description, the URL, the tags the author, the email, and also preview uh, images in here. Uh, it's actually quite small, but if you really want to uh, to see more of it, you can just uh, uh, resize the dialog in here, so you can see it uh, clearly. Um, those informations are actually from uh, the metadata of the repository. So what, oh, when you make a repository, you need to define the metadata uh, for the repository. Uh, the, the metadata itself contains general section, the author, the email, and uh, the list of the collections. And uh, you will also need to define all of the collections metadata. This is, uh, this has, uh, this uh, section must be the same with uh, the one that you already list in the uh, in this section. 
so for uh, this for each of the collection you need to define the name the text the description cages minimum and maximum fraction which is uh, for example if you have a symbol that is not um, suitable for cages tree is use uh, use uh, it will be not shown in the uh, plugin the collection and also the list of uh, the preview images in here so this is the name of the image and you have to put uh, the preview image under this uh, preview directory so it will be shown up properly in the plugin and uh, that's uh, about the metadata of the collection let's install this collection it's downloading the collection it's uh, installing uh, so it's installed so as I mentioned earlier uh, uh, let's open first this collection and uh, as I mentioned earlier that uh, this oh, this uh, plugin will also install in uh, in your keyjs the processes script into the toolbox processing uh, toolbox and the SVG it will add uh, the path to the collection so you can use it right away and also in the style manager you will see all the symbols from uh, this collection so let's see if it's installed in the keyjs let's go step on uh, the plugin and in the scripts here uh, we can see the scripts in here uh, which is uh, the name of uh, the script in here will be the same and also I add the has of the collection so for example if there is uh, another the scripts uh, that has the same name with the another collection it will be fine because uh, there is a has in here and for uh, SVG so let's for change this symbol for example and uh, let's change into SVG field and uh, in here you can use it right away from the collection and uh, for symbols you can see the installed symbols in style manager in here so it will uh, make a, a group with the name of the collection and also the has of the collection and also in here the file name of the symbol and all of the marker line fields and color ramps are uh, defined in that uh, XML you can actually put uh, multiple XML files in here and it will add uh, a more child groups in in this uh, group in this parent group so for symbols, uh, you can use uh, resources, for example, SVGs from this collection. It will resolve uh, the path uh, automatically for you. Um, and you can also use, uh, of course, the SVGs from uh, KG's default uh, package. And you can also use uh, SVGs from online uh, online endpoints URL so that's uh, for uh, the styles uh, the symbols so, uh, from this collection let's uh, uh, add install one more uh, collection here from which are repository uh, in which are repository let's open the repository um in here so this is the chart repository and in this repository there is uh, one collection that contains uh, icons and styles to create a, a map so in here we can see all the SVGs from this collection and um, the style is actually I'm still empty so let's install this uh, collection it's downloading and uh, it's installed 
and let's see uh, the SVGs uh, from that collection. Let's change these uh, symbols, and uh, you can see in here. So you will see all of the SVGs from that collection. So, so that's uh, mostly what I worked on uh, for the last couple of weeks. Mostly I work on uh, resources handlers, and uh, for the rest of this GSOC. Uh, project so I still have four weeks left I will work on uh, one more uh, repository handler for file system so it will be very nice uh, if we can use we can make a repository in file system local local file system and put the collections in uh, that uh, repository in the local collection in the local file system and use this tool to to install the collection and later maybe you can put it in the network uh, file system and share it with, uh, with your peers without uh, needing to add the repository to the to the to the one in the approved repository in here and I will also add one more uh, resource handler for style I think it will be um, more or less the same with symbols. Uh, I will just need to resolve the path to the SVGs they use uh, from uh, external uh, external location. And uh, I will also uh, implement some tests of finish some tests and uh, write more documentation so I put my documentation in here it's actually uh, within the same uh, repository in a github page a branch in the repository so this is uh, I will finish this documentation and yeah so I think that's uh, for the last four weeks of this uh, uh, this uh, project I will work on uh, Policing most um, mostly. So I hope uh, it will be finished, and I will uh, publish it into uh, Kijis uh, plugin, Python plugin uh, manager. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, see you later. Bye bye.